All right, Shalom, Shalom. First things first, I want to give all honor and praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Badash. We say Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Badash. And we give double honors to our apostle elders, which are the apostle elders, a great millstone, which feed us with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding through the spirit and power of Yah Bashim Yahweh Shai. 2023, which is a hopeful year that Yah Bashim Yahweh Shai fulfills all the prophecies. And gets the elect up out of here, man. Uh, so let's jump right into this lesson. Uh, with everything that's been going on recently, um, I had this uh, just doing my readings. And this uh, verse came up. And the title of this video is going to be called The Attributes of the Elect. Okay? Um, because we have to know, because the Lord has told us that he's establishing the elect. The whole purpose of Jake going out into the highways and the byways is to help seal the elect that the Lord is bringing in. Um, that's why Yahweh Shah said... He prays to the father, the harvest, <coughs> that he shall send laborers into his vineyard. Okay, because the vineyard of the Lord is the you Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And Lord willing, I can go into that other lesson too. Um, going into the fact of the Lord's promises. Just like when you marry something, you give a vow. The, the Lord vowed unto us. And um, that's something we need to rehearse and, and live in. Because the Lord is a power of his word. So that's coming to pass. Um, but as on this subject, as you see the attributes of the elect with everything going on with this camp banging, uh, fights, um, do, those that don't want to come under the, the truth, the banner that, that pushed the truth, right? These are the fruits of it, man. Cause the scriptures tell us plainly that you shall tell the tree by its fruits. So if something bear forth, a good tree cannot bear forth bad fruit, just like a bad tree cannot bear forth good fruit. So things that come out of situations, but things will come up because we're in a world of we're especially in hell right now. But things will come up. But it's how you deal with those things accordingly. So let's jump right into this. Uh, the first precept I have, um, let's jump right. This is the main precept. This is the book of Colossians 3 and verse 12, because when this came up, I said, damn, that's it. Because we can't come in this truth trying to establish who we are and, and, and gain some kind of um, uh, uh, what is that? What's that word where you have an identity crisis? All right. Try to make yourself a uh, personality. I mean, each of us have our own special personalities because the Lord has breathed the spirit into us. But when it comes to establishing ourselves, because even Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah was saying, I must be about my father's business. I must be about my father's business. When he went on that cross, that was the business of Yahweh. He knew that he had to go on there and sacrifice himself for the uh, remission of sins and bring back Israel back to the heavenly father all right so let's go ahead and start here this is the book of colossians 3 and verse 12 it says put on therefore as the elect so this right here is showing you what the ele the elect is going to put on okay so let's look into that word real quick eclectos see picked one chosen chosen by yahweh to obtain salvation through mashiach so now it says Christians called chosen or elect of Yahweh. And then you have the Israel, but then you have the Israel of the Most High. All right. So this is speaking about the elect, the chosen. So this is therefore an instruction to the elect. OK, put on, therefore, as the elect of Yahweh, holy and beloved, because the word means the, the word holy means separate because the elect is even separate, separated from all of Israel. They're not. They're Israelites first and foremost, but then they're even separated from that because you have two thirds of Israel that must be put away. But they're going to come back through the loins of the elect. And it says, holy and beloved, bow, bow, uh, bowels of mercies. OK, let's look up what that word means right there. Let's get some understanding. <clears throat> the word there is um, let's play. it. Strong's G 4698. Splaghan. Splaghan. It means bowels, intestines, heart, lungs, liver, etc. Bowels. Bowels are guarding a seat or more violent possession such as anger and love, but by the Hebrews as the seat of the tender affections. Mm. Kindness, uh, benevolence, compassion, hence our heart, tender mercy. So in your heart. So coming from pretty much your spirit, it says, put, therefore, as the elect of Yahweh, holy and beloved bowels of mercy, 
kindness, humbleness, and my and of mind, meekness, long suffering. So these are the fruits of what's going to come out of you if you're in the spirit and if you're moving towards that that uh, frame to be an elect. That's why this this video is called the attributes of the elect. Okay, so let's let's do this. Let's look up what the word attributes mean. The word attributes means regarding something as being caused by someone. Let's see here. It says a quality, character, or characteristics ascribed to someone or something. So this is if you want to be of the elect, this is what you want to practice. This is what you want. You can't make yourself of the elect, but what you can do is try to mimic, uh, not mimic, but go after what the definition of the elect would be. Now, this is what the attributes they're going to have, the characteristics, the qualities, just like you have a qu uh, QA. It's called quality assurance. OK, the quality assurance of the elect is these things. That's what that's what's going to produce in the elect. The fruit that's going to come out of the elect is going to mirror this. An object closely associated with or belonging to a specific person, thing or office, just like you have a police officer that has their attributes. You can tell. That's why even undercovers, you can tell like, damn, this might be a cop <clears throat> because they're trying to pull that off. But they still have the attributes that's that pertain to them being in law enforcement, just like you see the situation that happened. Some of these Israelites get we know that some of the Israelites were in the Roman army. Some of the Israelites were under that Roman rulership and military and came into this truth. Cornelius being one of them. But he came in in the truth as in coming in and, and leaving like having that me mentality geared towards this truth. <clears throat> he was well devout. He, his household was saved. So he was somebody special unto the Lord. Okay. So let's go back here. And it says long suffering. So what you see taking place now with this camp fiasco is there was no long suffering. These weren't being shown. These attributes were not being shown. It was all oh, it's me and, and nothing else. It's who offended me, my chair, my spot, my corner. These are not our, these are not our things. This is not our land. This is our captivity. That corner it belongs to Esau. That's why when the cop who who really could lay hold on 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 Jake was the police, which worked for Esau, man. This goes back into the time of the Romans. This is exactly what was taking place. They were waiting and using the power of Esau's. Um, of the Roman Empire at the time to propel themselves or to, to lean on. That's why Yahusha said, you of, the, you of your father, the devil, man, you're in the lust thereof, you will do. So the same thing, they didn't go into the scriptures and bring out the law. These were men that were very, some of them should be in, uh, versatile in the truth, as in they should be long, uh, had some years on them. They didn't pull out the scriptures, say, let's, let's pull up a council. They got down to the niggardism. The so, but these are the fruits of the elect for us because the Lord does things for us to see and for us to learn. And why is that happen? Why is that happen to these two groups specifically? And you have the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have constantly been watching and tending up to their to their shoddy work and, and, and the things that they've been doing and speaking against them. Now the Lord is acting against them. Just like it happens in the scriptures. The prophets, the prophets come, warn you tell you of, of, of what to do with how to get right and then if you don't guess what then judgment this is a part of judgment because now you they have a stain and a tarnish on their groups and then you're trying to tarnish the words of the lord because even the guy was like you supposed to teach us we supposed to be out there being a cut above the rest but i'm just speaking it because it's the the hot topic of the day but the main thing is for us to put on this 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 criteria this quality this attribute let us put this on because this is what's going to solidify and hopefully solidify if we be a part of that number. These are the fruits that's going to come out of that. Humbility, humbleness, kindness, mercies, mercy. You have to have mercy. It could have been, you know what? Hey, you know what? I, you got it. Y'all brothers got it. We're going to move. We want this word to come out. You know, we came out today. Let's go ahead and we'll move to the different spot. Instead of, oh, this is my spot. This is my spot. You don't pay you pay you don't you your taxes don't don't go to you owning that spot. It's it's your enemy spot. You're there to push the truth. Your enemy is active out here doing all types of 
high level wickedness and you're worried about a spot in a chair, man. Okay, but these are the attributes of the elect. Let's keep going. And it says forbearing one another. So what's the word forbearing mean? To be you already see it, bear, to hold. So what's the word for bear? Strong's G430, anecho, anecho. Uh-huh, and then it says what? To hold up, hold oneself erect and firm, to sustain, to bear, endure. So if you want to be long-suffering, you got to endure it, man. If somebody do, does you wrong, play the low. Take the low. Because the Most High is going to plead the cost because he sees everything. If a sparrow doesn't fall in the ground and, and the Most High hasn't ordained it, you think he's going to miss anything pertaining to this truth and pertaining to somebody doing wrong? That's why it says be uh, br uh, show brotherly love. How's the Lord going to know if you love your brother or not? He, that means he's going to be well, well aware of how you're, you're moving in the, in the truth and in the world. That's why it says, when did you clothe me? When did you feed me? That's the same thing. The Lord's going to know every good deed, anything that's done. Just like he told Abraham, I will bless them that bless thee and curse them that curse you. Okay? So all that is still active. And it says, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. Forgiveness. That's why it says, how, and what did, when did, the, what did they ask Yahweh How many times shall your brother uh, uh, cross you and you forgive him? Seven times seven. That means, that means you, you forgive him a complete amount of times, man. Because guess what? Our sins, are, there's no sin. It says you break one, break one sin, you're guilty of them all. So none, none of our sins were looked on as, as high regarded. All of us deserve damnation, man. We all deserve to not make it. We all deserve to not taste that, that fruit, but the Lord has set apart a cluster to go into the kingdom and to taste that under not their own actions because it's the will of the Lord. It's the mercies. It's to show that the Lord has an elect, those that he's going to forgive and he's going to bring back because they forget, they believe on the son. Because that's the only way to the heavenly father is through Yahweh Shah, man, which is that gate. Okay. That's why it says I have the keys of David. Okay. It says forbearing one another. It says forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel, what's the word quarrel? Let's go into that. It says what? Strong's G thirty-four thirty-seven. Mumfe. 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 <laughs> Mumfe. Like, like that. It says blame. Have a complaint against one another. See? A complaint. What they say? Oh man, you in our spot? What's the to blame, find fault. Okay, so a quarrel, a, 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 a argument. Okay, what does it say? Forbearing one another, forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Mashiach forgave you, so also do ye. So these are the things that you're supposed to do if something, especially if you're dealing with an Israelite. And the scriptures also says, agree with thy adversary while he's in the way. So even if it wasn't an Israelite, you still have to cover and says, if it be possible, be at peace with all men. So we ain't supposed to be out here on no raw, raw mission. We're supposed to be out here harmless as doves and wise as serpents. Okay. Because anything could have took place in, in that situation and in any situations to come. Because Esau, is, he's, he's coming down as a, 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 a lion, man. He's coming down having great wrath. Knowing that he hath but a short time. He knows this thing is, is wrapping up. So you think he's going to, he, this, this man murdered his way to the top. What do you think he's going to do to keep it? He's, he, 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 he did anything. He pulled out all the stops, killed the buffalo. Anything that propelled him to rulership, he did. What do you think he's going to do to keep it? Now he's going he's gonna to pull out all the stops, man. He don't care because now he knows he's lost. Okay? And it says, let's go to verse Let's see verse 14. And above all things, put on charity, which is the bound of per perfectness, per which is the bound of perfect perfectness. See, and let the peace of Yahweh rule in your heart. So that's why you have you have you have to have your mind geared, not just put on fringes, because a lot of these guys put on fringes and their hearts are still uncircumcised. OK, you may be circumcised in the flesh, but your mind is 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 deadly in the world is off heathenistic wicked whatever you want to put it man okay and it says let the peace of yahweh rule in your hearts to the to the which also ye are called in one body and be ye thankful so be thankful because you ain't supposed to be out the 
that the, the, the this is the Lord's truth. It's not your truth. It's not Nate's truth. It's not Johanna's truth. It's not our truth. It's the Lord's truth. It's the, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that the Lord has set forth in the world to bring back his, his elect, man. This is the time that we're in. These are, these are deadly serious times because we're trying to show ourselves worthy. None of us are going to be worthy. We're all going to fall short when it comes to that righteousness. But the faith that we put into this work and try after that, and we have outlines of how to be. This is Luke 1 and 78. Through the tender mercies of Yahweh, whereby the day spring forth on the high hath visited us, see, to give light to them that sit in darkness. So, And what is the light? Let your light shine before men. Is going out on the highways and the byways, pushing the truth, doing videos, doing lessons, going into different subjects, updating the news, uh, sharing pertinent information. Those are the things that are pertaining unto light and darkness because darkness goes into the mentality of not knowing knowledge, knowledge, wisdom and understanding compared unto the sun, the moon. OK, the Lord has given us opportunity to come back to him by this knowledge and then to give and teach other men also, because guess what? We were taught. We didn't know who we was. We were lost in the sauce. But out of the mercies of the Lord and the man teaching, guess what? We came to the truth and we grew. We 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 nourished ourselves under the under the under the fountain of righteousness. <laughs> hey, that's a sit down. GMS, the fountain of righteousness. It says to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death. And what does it come to your mind? This is we're in the shadow of death, which is Babylon, low land, low, low valley. OK, because if you go into the shadow of death, that goes into the um, where's the green pastures where the pastures were uh, goat, goat, uh, uh, sheep herding uh, areas. And there would be valleys down there and the shepherd would have to go down into the valley to go and grab the sheep because the sheep would stray off and it would go and get stuck down in the valley. OK, it says to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death. To guide our feet in the way of peace. So ball or, or scrabbling and, and fighting, that ain't the way of peace, man. That's the way of niggardom. High level niggardom. <laughs> so, I mean, if we bring it back up, but this is where this lesson stems from. And, you know, and forgiving, you know, because really there's nothing, there's, there's nothing much to be fighting for out here besides this truth, man. Amongst ourselves, we, you know, we, we, we uh, rebuke, exhort. But these are the things we have to, because Jake is off. The Lord was resort. What, what do you think, Revelations? I have this church, this church, I, I, this I have against you. Yahweh Shah himself was rebuking churches, man, to get them tightened up. Paul was rebuking churches. Peter was rebuking. Come on, man. Luke 18 and 7, it says, And shall not Yahweh avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? <clears throat> There's another... Uh, um, attribute of the elect that they're going to be they're going to be in that position of, of difficulty straits to call on the lord to say look Yahweh, we need you we need the heavenly father we can't do this by ourselves man he can only free us from this he can only put us back in our stead uh, our stead man we can't fight esau he'll destroy us he's too strong that's why david said uh strong bulls of bashan have compassed me about so we have even stronger bulls now. We have uh, military against all the, all the world has military weapons, high, high level planes. Well, how are we going to go against that yeah, carnally? How are we going to be able to beat that car? It's unbeatable. And, 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 and we're the winners out of the, the, our scenario. So who's going to link up with us? Who's going to try to come with some treaty? Oh, let's help the Israelites. No, nobody, because there's no benefit for them. That's why the Lord set us at the lowest of the low. So no one will come and help us. Would it say Deuteronomy? No man shall buy you, man. No man shall save you. I tell you that we will avenge. I, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the son of man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. So that's a that's a thing, man. And faith is not just putting on fringes <clears throat> and yelling at Esau. That's not that's that. This gospel is more than that, man. This gospel is more than that because this gospel is about charity peace the, the fruits the fruits of the elect the attributes of the elect because that's what the lord is going to come back to grab those that have those type of attributes not the warlike because he's got the war the lord got it he's the alpha of this thing he's coming he said the lord is a man of war the lord is his name so he's going to fight for us that's why he told us in, in in the old testament 
I will fight for you. Fear not. <clears throat> Be not dismayed. Ezekiel 9 and verse 4. And the Lord said, said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon, upon the foreheads of the men that sign and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Not co-sign with the police and different things, but sometimes you have to use Esau's law, man, because you can't you can't put nobody to, to death. And somebody's trying to put you to death. Guess what? That's a difference. Hey, you know, you have to use Esau, man. Second Corinthians one and verse 22, who hath also sealed us and given the earnest of the spirit in our hearts. What did it say in Colossians? Let this peace of the most high rule in your hearts. So that's the that's the precept, that, because the Lord is going to come in your heart. He's going to give you peace and he's going to give you that expected end. And then those fruits of the elect, those attributes of the elect are going to come out in you. Why? Because the most high is dwelling in your in your house and he's going to dwell in us totally in the kingdom. That's why we're going to be made absolutely perfect, man. This is the book of Second Peter 2 and verse 7. Let's see what this says. It says, and deliver just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Because Lot was already in the spirit of the elect. He was vexed. His heart and his mind was not cosigning to the ways of the world that he was in, in that city. Okay? And the things that they were doing. So the same thing now, we're vexed with the filthy conversation of our people and the wicked, man. All right? So we're in this time where these things are going to start blossoming in our, in our spirits. And uh, these are the things we should go after, man, as much as possible. It's hard in this flesh. That's why the Lord is going to come and save us from this bondage of these chains, man, and give us that 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 heart that can that can uh, uh, receive the Lord's words holy. Okay. I'm gonna get this last precept. We're gonna close on out. This is not some long. I don't want to make it drawn out, but I I, I was doing this on my readings and it, and it hit and it hit home, man. Especially what's going on now. So these are the things. That's why I said if one if a man slap you, give it, give him the other cheek. That was a commandment, man. So we got to ask are these guys following these things. This is 1 Corinthians 3 and verse 4. Charity suffereth, it says, charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself and is not puffed up. Pride. Pride, man. And you see what's going on now and, and see what's happening. So these are the things we should go after and, and to let brotherly love, let this truth spring out. Because guess what? It's, it's great enough, man. It, has, it, it can stand on its own. It don't need any of us to do anything. We just are blessed just to even be a part of it, man. All right. So Lord willing, this is Zedifying Lesson. I'm going to leave it there. And I'm going to say, call Haloyim, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Mechach Till the next time, I say keep faith. Keep more now than ever. Keep faith. Keep strong. Uh, push towards the attributes of the elect. These things is to read and to, to go after that. And everything that you do, try to mimic that, man. You know, and the Lord to bless. All right. So with that, I say, call Halom, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Chakodash. Till the next time I say, Shalom.